Hi friends, welcome to Vijay Tech 360. My name is Vijay and in this video we are going to see how to use designer in a cloud formation. So once you click on the cloud formation from the console, then you are navigated to the cloud formation. Then you need to click on the design template. So once you click on the design template, it is going to show the uh, console of a designer. So here you will find all the resource types which are available in AWS. Uh, you will find almost 90 to 95 percent over here but there are few resources which are not available in cloud formation so right now i am going to show how to launch an instance by using a designer so before that uh, we will see like uh, in ec2 instance if you didn't know how to launch the ec2 instance what we'll do is uh, i had recorded a video and i kept in the playlist you can see but now I am going for just basic. You need to give the AM, AMI, Amazon, uh, Amazon Mission image and the instance type and the configuration of instance. And uh, you need to give the storage, tags and security. This is how we will give in uh, manual creation. So in cloud formation what we will do is uh, we will go for an EC2. Under this we will find the instance. So you just drag and drop the instance over here and this is going to generate the code here and as I change it this to AML if you see the JSON it will be on a JSON format but AML is very easy so I, I, I opted AML so here uh, this is the EC2 instance and uh, for this I need to select the AMI image ID and also the instance type and uh, if you want a particular availability zone this machine should be then you can give those options for that what I will do is uh, I remove the properties empty uh, so that I need to give a certain fields for this I need to have availability zone and uh, instance type so so here I had given the availability zone and the image ID and the instance type so once you give all this and you need to hit refresh so that the design will be updated so once you gave uh, you need to validate this particular template then you just click on the validate the template so it will tell uh, it, it may not upload to s3 but uh, you try for one or two times uh, then it will show the template is valid you can see that this template it is showing as a valid so you want to if you want to launch this one you need to uh, create a stack from there uh, it will provision all the ec2 inst i mean of the instance which you had configured over here so for that just click on the create stack and it is going to rewrite it there and it uploaded to s3 bucket and next thing we need to give the name of the stack so i am giving here ec2 launch just remember the stack name we are going to see this in next so any key as i told that these tags are uh, global like uh, whatever resource you are going to attach here it will make use of these tags so now i am telling testing ac2 so permissions uh, here i am not using any sort of im roles or uh, rollback or any uh, cloud watch so just give next then you are going to review all the details whatever is uh, there and just click on create so uh, just hit on refresh it is telling create in process so now we can see that all the logs are completed and we can see that the creation is completed so to confirm it what we have to do is uh, we need to go for the resource there you can see that uh, the logical id whichever uh, you had given uh, in the template it will show if you give that uh, it's a dev server then the logical id will be the dev server so uh, the next one is a physical id which is a uh, instance id and you can see that it's an aws ec2 instance uh, this is where you can see the uh, events and uh, you will find whether it's uh, completed or not so if you want to see this particular uh, ec2 instance just click on uh, new tab then it will open the ec2 instance so you can see that this particular ec2 instance is running and you can see the public ip and private ip and as you had we had given that it's a t2 micro and it is t2 micro and uh, the location availability zone is what we had given is us east 1a and it is us east 1a 
and uh, rest all will be taken from the default but whatever we had given right like uh, availability zone you had seen it is same and the image id uh, you can also see from uh, here so you can see the image id also so all these put together if you want to do manually we have a lot of steps but by simple uh, a small four lines of code will gives you uh, the ec2 instance ready for you so this is how we will manage uh, the cloud formation templates so we have a lot of things in that so uh, we will see a lot of examples uh, by going through so if you want to have a full information over uh, the cloud formation what we have to do is uh, go to browser and type uh, ec2 aws cloud formation and you will get uh, uh, the available uh, resource i mean documentation here uh, we will find all the syntax uh, properties everything so if you click on syntax we will have a two formats one is json and a second one is aml and in aml we can see this so uh, this is the guide which will help us so the type which you had seen in the code also it's like uh, type aws ec2 instance and next it starts with the properties and in properties we have a lot as i told if you want to put a key pair scroll down now we won't see the key pair so we didn't give this key pair so we are we are not able to see the key pair of this particular so like this we have a lot of properties to make use of like uh, you can attach the security groups and uh, you can have a subnets all those properties if you give uh, it will deploy all those uh, particular amazon resource uh, over uh, here so uh, if you go through uh, tags uh, you can see uh, the tags you can uh, aws cloud formation logical id uh, which is the name of that after that uh, we will have uh, ec2 instance which i gave as a stack name and uh, as you know that uh, the tag i had given is testing and uh, it's a ec2 so these are the fields uh, which we gave there and uh, it is available with them and uh, right now we can see that uh, these are the and uh, security groups we didn't give any so it attached the default one so like this we will have a details uh, in next video i will show how to attach the uh, security group for this uh, ec2 instance i hope it helps you thank you for watching